fire and Coal Hollow fire continue to burn in San Pete and Utah counties respectively. They're now under the same command. Growing in size, both fires are prompting evacuations and pre-evacuation notices for some area residents. News 4 Utah's Brittany Johnson is in the studio with information. Brittany. Well, Andrew, these evacuation orders can change by the minute, and firefighters say it's because of the, quote, extreme behavior of the flames. Now, I do want to start off with the Coal Hollow Fire. That one is burning near Highway 6 in southeastern Utah County, and it's grown about 6,600 acres with 0% containment. As for the Hilltop Fire, that one still stands at 1,400 acres. Crews have been able to contain this blaze by 12%. Now, both of these fires are moving fast and people living in the area need to be packed up and ready to go just in case you are asked to leave. Everything is smoky everywhere. I even bought some mask yesterday just to put on my nose. It doesn't matter if I go to Salt Lake, if I come here, it's the same thing. Now, evacuations for the Coal Hollow Fire in Utah County include Fish Creek, Bear Ridge, Soldier Summit, portions of Aspen Cove and Schofield, all home south of State Route 6 to the Carbon County line, State Route 96 from the junction, and State Route 6 to Schofield. And these following areas in Carbon County are under pre-evacuation notice. You have Madison Bay, Schofield West, Fish Creek, and Clear Creek. Now, here's the evacuation list for the Hilltop Fire. Evacuations are still in place for the Black Hawk Estates and Hideaway Valley neighborhoods, and evacuations for Melbourne are now lifted. Now, tonight at 7 o'clock, there will be a meeting at Mount Pleasant High School so fire officials can answer questions from the public about both the Coal Hollow and Hilltop fires. And we do have all of this information on our website right now, goodforutah.com. Just click on this story. We'll send things back over to you.